everyone, welcome back to another episode of Web Tech Tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to guide you through how to download this application on your PC. Keep watching the video till the end and don't forget to subscribe to our channel by hitting the subscribe button. Press the notification bell icon so that you'll never miss another update from us. Now let's get started. In order to download Deza on your PC, you'll need to go open up a web browser first. In the search area, type in download Deza for PC and make your search. From the search result, you'll be able to see a link where it says Deza for Windows. Simply click it on, accept to the terms and services and click on download now button to download it on your device. Click on get and wait for the application to download. Once the application is installed, simply click on the launch button to launch it on. And your Deezer application is opened up. If you don't have an account yet, click on the sign up button and register first into a new account. But if you already have one, click on log in and log into your account using your email address and your password. That is how you can easily get Deezer application on your PC. Make sure you've downloaded Deezer application on your device. Once you have, tap it open and this is the very first interface of Deezer. If you already have an account, you can tap on the login button right below the sign up button and log into your account entering your credentials. But if you are trying to open up a new account on Deezer since you don't have one, tap on the sign up button. Now, in order to sign up, you can sign up using your Facebook account or your Google account or you can also enter an email create a password for your account. Let me go ahead and enter an email address in order to sign up. Enter a valid email address that you have an access to and then create a password for your account on the next field. Make sure to create a password that is at least 8 characters and once you do that, double check your password by clicking on the eye icon at the right corner right here and create a username for your account on the next field. Once you type in the username that you'd like to use, enter your age into the age text field. Now, select your gender where it says identity and finally tap on sign up. Accept the terms and services by tapping on accept and now what you can do is you can choose an artist for more personalized recommendations. Tap on the search box where it says search for an artist and type in the artist's name. Once you make your search, you'll be able to see the search result displayed on the screen. Now, you'll need to choose two more artists. So repeat the process by going to the search button and type in the name of the artist that you'd like to look for. You can also select one from the result on the display. Now finally, after you've chosen three artists, tap on continue with three artists or if you'd like to choose more, you can go ahead and pick from the list displayed on the screen. Tap on continue with the artist at the bottom and you'll be logged in to your Deezer application. That means you've successfully signed up for your Deezer. That is how you can easily open up an account on Deezer. If you'd like to visit your profile, go to the settings or the gear button at the top right corner. And there you go. If you'd like to log out of the account, simply scroll all the way down from the settings option and tap on log out. And that way you'll be able to open up a new Deezer account quick and easy. I in order to sign into Deezer, tap open your Deezer application from your app drawer. From the first interface of Deezer, tap on the login button in order to log into an existing account. Soon after you do that, you'll end up in the login area. You can log into your account using your Facebook, your Google or your email address. Since I signed up to my account using my email, let me go ahead and type in the email address that is associated with the account. Now head over to the password text box and type in the correct password for your account. If you'd like to double check your password, you can tap on the eye icon in the right corner, which will help you reveal your password. In case you don't remember your password, you can tap on forgot password link right below the login button and reset to a new password that you can easily remember next time. After everything's done, tap login, wait for a few seconds, and you'll be signed into your dessert account in no time. Open your web browser first. In the URL box at the top, type in Deezer.com and search. From the official website of Deezer, go and click on the login button at the top right corner. Now, in the login area, go ahead and enter your email address. Make sure to type in the email address that is associated with your account and if you've forgotten your password and don't know what to do next, you can easily reset your password. If you happen to remember the password during the process, type it in in the text box. But if you don't, click on forgot your password link right below the login button. 
In the pop-up, you'll need to enter your email address one more time. After you are done, click confirm and you'll be receiving a link to reset your password to your email address. Go check your email by opening a new tab. You should receive an email from Dizzo. Click the email open and the reset link to your password will be received by you. Click on here in order to reset your password and now type in the new password that you would like to change to. Make sure your password is 8 characters minimum and move towards the next box and type in the password one more time. Make sure both of the passwords in the text boxes matches. After you're done, click reset and your password has been updated successfully. Click on back and now click on the login button at the top right one more time and your email and then when asked for your password, type in the new password that you just reset to. You'll need to enter the same password you just reset to every time you log in starting from now. After you're done, click login and that is how you can easily reset your password for Dizzo. You can change your country on Dizzo anywhere, anytime and as often as you like. Start by clicking open a web browser and go to www.dizzo.com and press enter. Sign into your Dizzo account if necessary. Once you are logged in, go and click on your profile picture at the top right corner. From the expanded menu, select account settings. From the top of the screen, go to More option and select Country Selector. The Country Selector feature is available worldwide to Deezer free account and paid subscribers on mobile, desktop and also on Deezer.com. Simply click on the drop-down right next to Choose your country and select the country that you would like to change to. After you're done, you'll be able to change country on Deezer. It may take a few hours for applied changes to appear on the desktop app if you are using one. If you are a subscriber on Deezer, you can easily download your favorite content to listen offline, including albums, audiobooks, favorite tracks, playlists, podcast episodes, and much more. Tap open your Deezer application and make sure you're signed into it first. Once you're signed in, remember that you can't download individual tracks unless you add them to a playlist. So the first thing you'll need to do is to create a playlist of yours. Go to Favorites at the bottom of the screen. Now, select Playlists under Music, tap on the plus button where it says Create a Playlist and then type in the name for your playlist. If you'd like to add a photo for your playlist, go to the Camera button at the top of the screen. Tap on Allow in order to allow access to photos and medias on your device. Select a picture from your library and you can add a picture for your playlist. Now, use the sliders at the bottom of the screen to make your playlist private or collaborative. After you're done, tap on Create at the top right corner. Wait for a few seconds and your playlist will be created. Now, go ahead and tap on Add Tracks in order to add music on your playlist. You can select tracks from suggested tracks, favorite tracks and top K-pop and in order to add the songs to your playlist, simply tap on this icon at the right corner beside each music. Once you tap it on, the song will be added to your playlist. After you're done, you can go back and see that your playlist has been created. Select any song that you'd like to download. Once you select the song that you'd like to download, go to the top right corner and click on the three dots. Now, tap on Download Album in order to download the music on your device. Soon after you do that, you'll be able to download music from Deezer. You can do this on your web or your desktop app and also on your mobile device. In today's video, I'm going to be helping you learn to do it on the desktop. Click open your web browser, go to Deezer.com and press the enter on your keyboard. Make sure you're signed into your account and you'll directly find your audio quality settings in the music player at the bottom. Click on this button right here in order to open up the audio settings. Switch one of the qualities displayed on the screen. By default, you'll be set to the standard quality. So if you'd like to try a better option, then you'll need to click on either better or high fidelity options. In order to be able to change your quality, you'll need to be a premium subscriber for Deezer. Simply click on the Try It button and subscribe with one of the options displayed on the screen. And your credit card or any other payment information that you'd like to subscribe from and click on Start My Free Trial. Soon after you do that, you'll be able to subscribe for more audio qualities for your Deezer account and apply it on your playlist. First, make sure you're signed into your Deezer account. If you are not, log into your Deezer account from a computer and then let us go ahead and delete a playlist. I'm going to show you by deleting one of my playlists by clicking on the playlist button at the left hand side. Now, 
Click on the three dots after you open up your playlist and click on delete this playlist. Let me click on delete from the pop-up just to show it to you guys how you can recover your playlist. Now, since my playlist has been deleted, what I can do next is to go to my profile picture at the top right. Go to help and in the search box type in recover my playlist. You'll be able to see a search result right here. Click on recover deleted playlist and now a new tab will open up. It gives you a complete instructions on how you can recover your playlist. Simply go ahead and go through the information once and click on this link right here. Now you'll be able to choose a playlist you wish to recover. This is stores 50 deleted playlists from the past 30 days so you'll be able to find the list of the playlist that you've deleted for 30 days in this page. Click on the playlist that you wish to recover and now you'll be able to find the playlist in your library. Go to your Deezer account and click on the playlist option. As you can see that your playlist has been recovered and back to your playlist. That is how it is done. Start by tapping open your Deezer application from your app drawer. Log into your account if necessary. Since I'm not, let me go ahead and tap on the login button and enter my credentials in the text boxes. Type in your email and then your password and tap on login. Once you're logged into your account, in order to log out, you can simply tap on the gear button at the top right from your home screen. From this page, scroll all the way down until you find the log out button at the bottom of the screen in red. Tap on log out and confirm login out by tapping on yes from the pop-up and that way you'll quickly be able to log out from Deezer. Now let's get started. Click open a web browser first and log into your Deezer account. Type in Deezer.com. Once you are logged into your account, go and click on your profile picture at the top right. This will bring out an expanded menu. Click on account settings from the expanded menu and scroll all the way down until you see delete my account link. Click it on and enter the password for your account in order to confirm that you are the one who is deleting the account. Type in your password correct. In case you happen to forget your password, click on forgotten your password link and follow the instructions so that you can reset to your new password and once you've reset to your new password, enter the password here and click on delete my account. An email has been sent to the email associated with your Deezer account. Click open a new tab and open up the email. You'll receive an inbox from Deezer. Click it open. Now click on the link and on the next page, you'll need to enter your password one more time. Finally, click delete my account and you'll be able to delete your account for Deezer. That is how it is done. I hope you found the video to be helpful. If you did, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. Comment down below in the comment box if you have a question or a feedback for us. I'll soon be back with more tutorial episodes. Goodbye till then.